because we were discussing, you know, to people who don't know, you know, or are new to the faith, they're like, why the poor? Why even, you know, worry about the poor? I, I can barely worry about myself. We hear that a lot, okay? Mm -hmm. And you're both telling me the figurehead of our faith, of our existence, the creator of the universe chose poverty. So if you can, again, just, it's very beautiful the way you put it, Father, tell us. No, I was just saying how, how Christ himself, when he chose to become human to save and to heal humanity, he chose to be like all the marginalized, right? He, he became extremely poor to the point that he was uh, born in a manger, had no place to, to sleep in the inn. Um, you know, he, he was born next to the animals and whatnot. And throughout his life, he suffered a lot, uh, did not own clothes, did not have even a bed or a pillow to sleep on, right? Um, so, so Christ really chose to go down at the lowest level of humanity to raise all of us up, right, together with him. And therefore, it becomes a responsibility to us as well or for us to continue Christ's work while we are here on earth. And then, Nermini would mention also about the cross, if you want to develop on that. Uh... Yes. Um, as Christ was here, um, and he began to associate himself with these very marginalized groups, these groups that never got justice historically, the poor, the women and children, uh, uh, slaves, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and um, the ultimate association, and, and so how he did that was by saying, I was hungry and you gave me food, I was naked and you clothed me. But really the ultimate association was his choice to to die as a uh, um, the death of a criminal, mm -hmm. tortured yeah. and humiliated. The worst. He um, he totally associated himself with with these people, and so um, so his statement was basically: there is no more exclusion. No one is shunned. He's accepting all, and in in doing that, he sealed the the fact that we each of us are created in the image of God, each and every one of us in the image of God Himself, mm -hmm. and with that comes great dignity. And this is what He's saying to us: in in when I'm seeing a poor person, I I have to see the image of God in him. Yeah. I have to treat him with the dignity that comes with being a created, being a son of God. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. And I would argue as well, like in Matthew 25, when he has the sheep on his right hand, the goats on his left hand, which you referenced earlier, um, he's speaking, both of both groups are Christians, actually, if you notice, because even the goats on the left hand are telling him like, Lord, when did we see you and not to do this? So they have faith in him. They call him Lord. And you know, the implication is, is if I have seen you, I would have done it, mm. right? And then we know the, the end uh, and how it goes, but my point here is that there is a calling for us to follow in his footsteps because he's telling me, he's telling you, he's telling Paul, telling the audience that you do like I have done. You know, did you visit the, you know, the, the sick? Did you feed the hungry? Did you mm. give drink to the thirsty? Did you visit those who are in prison? So it becomes, he's passing this duty along to us. So like you said earlier, it is a must for us to follow in Christ's footsteps. I think something that breaks my heart a lot is when Christianity is almost used as, as the religion of, in some, you know, the rich or as, you know, the, the Western countries are the Christian countries and they don't know what's happening across the world. And you just said the words that Christ came for the marginalized. Mm. He came as poor for the poor. Mm. You know, he, he he was tried as a criminal for criminals. He mm. was, you know, in all things, mm. he took the the least possible image he could. Mm. So it breaks my heart almost to see Christianity be labeled as that when it's completely the opposite. That that's what Christ is and was and yeah. and still is today. But that's what what Philippians two is all about, right? That like mm. Christ emptied himself from all this glory, and he was clothed with humility, right? Rode on the donkey instead of the cherubim, right? He died the worst type of death, and he endured it even to the death of the cross for our sakes. 
This is Christianity. 